Morning, friends and family. Chaplain Joe here. It is May 4th. I really feel like I'm being led in a different direction now. I've been reading Sarah Young devotional now for quite some time, and I just feel like it's time to do something different. And um, I really feel like we need to be in the Word, God's unadulterated Word. So I'm going to go with John 10, 10. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he has a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I feel like a lot of... In my own personal life, I I honestly couldn't grasp this idea or this concept of a thief. I mean, what is this? You know, what it took a long time for me to to try and figure this one out. And uh, the thief has been around since we were created, and and uh, the thief is actually the devil, the enemy of your soul. And um, we don't know enough about him. The word teaches that we perish because we lack knowledge, is what it says, and that's. You know, he's managed to trick society and trick mankind into thinking that he's not real or that he doesn't exist, but he's very real and he does exist and he's very, he's a worthy adversary, the word says, and he's the father of lies. And he uses us against ourselves, he uses us against each other, and he does all this because he hates God. He hates God. He tried to take over in heaven. He tried to take over and God kicked him out and now he's down here with us. He tricked he tricked us. You know, we're the first, we're, we're, we're the greatest of all of God's creations, and He's mad at God, and He wants to destroy us. He wants to separate us. He separated us in the beginning with Adam and Eve. He separated us from God. He put a big gap between us and God, and God had to close that gap, and He did that through His Son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, in this verse in the scripture, is the Good Shepherd. And, uh, Man will lead you astray or man will leave you abandoned, but the good shepherd Jesus will not, will not leave you as, uh, abandoned and, and astray. And that's what the scripture is saying. So you have a very real enemy, a very real enemy of your soul, and that uh, that real enemy is going to do everything in his power to separate you from God, to keep you separate from God, to keep you deceived, tricked, trapped, and, and, and keep you from reading the word, keep you from following the good shepherd, to keep you hearing from the good shepherd's voice. So... Uh, click, like, follow, comment, please. Tell me what you think and uh, tell me if I should keep going in this direction or, or go back to the old direction. God bless.